Assalamu alaikum students hope you are fine by the grace of Allah today I am here from Lavi and Jaffi Street and today I am here for class 5 students so dear students I will be, I'll be discussing about a chapter of your elementary science book and that chapter is the chapter 8 the universe so students let's start this chapter so students now we are in chapter 8 the universe in this chapter at first you will be able to know about the universe and the earth about the size of the universe and about the distance between universe earth and the moon and in the second lesson you will be able to know about the motions of earth what are the diurnal annual motions of the earth and what are the axis etc and in the second topic is the day and night what is the reason of being day and night in the earth and here is the main reason that is discussed and after that you will be able to know about sunrise and sunset and in the third topic is the season why there are six seasons in a year in our country and you will be able to know why summer and winter occurs in the earth after that we will be able to know about the phases of the moon here are some phases of the moon here all the phases are given here you will be able to know why these phases are occurring now students let's go through the exercises of this chapter to elementary science class 5 the universe chapter 8 so students let's go through the solutions so at first we'll go through some tick marks number one which one is correct a the moon gives off its own light b the moon is a satellite c the moon is a planet d the moon moves around sun the answer will be b the moon is a satellite second question in how many days does the, does the earth take to complete one trip around the sun a 24 days b 28 days C 365 days D 7 days the answer will be C 365 days now in our students let's go through some short question answers number one what are two motions of the earth answer two motions of the earth are number one as rotation number two as revolution second question what causes day and night answer when one side of the earth faces the sun is daytime for the people living there the sun's light reaches them making it bright and warm the other side of the earth is facing away from the sun. It's dark there, so it's night time for the people on that side. Third question, why do the phases of the moon take place? Answer, as the moon travels around the earth, the part of the moon lit by the sun changes. This is why we see different shapes of the moon or phases throughout the month. Fourth question, what is the difference between planet and satellite? Answer, planets, number one big bodies that orbit around the stars like the sun and then number two examples are mars jupiter number three they are usually round in shape now let's talk about satellites number one smaller bodies that orbit around the planet and their examples are the moon orbiting the earth and many moons around jupiter then number three they can be natural like the moon or artificial made by humans like communication satellites now our fifth question why does the temperature rises in summer answer summer during summer the earth tilts in a way that makes the sun rays shine directly on a part of the earth this direct sunlight heats up the ground and air much more than when the sunlight is not as direct think of it like using a magnifying glass to focus the sunlight on a piece of paper the focus light makes the paper hotter now students let's go through some descriptive question answers number one explain the causes of seasons answer when one side of the earth is tilted towards the sun it gets more sunlight and is summer there the days are longer and the weather is warmer when the other side of the earth is tilted away from the sun it gets less sunlight and it's winter there the days are shorter and the weather is colder between summer and winter we have spring and autumn these are times when the earth is slowly tilting towards or go away from the sun so the tilt of the earth as it goes around the sun is the main reason for our different seasons now second question the sun does not move around the earth but it seems to move from east to west around the sky explain why it should be sky sorry for the misspelling answer the apparent movement of the sun across the sky from east to west is due to the earth's rotation here's a breakdown of why this happens number one earth's rotation the earth rotates on its axis from east to west this means that if you are standing on earth the sky appears to move in the opposite direction to the rotation of the earth number two sun's apparent path as the earth rotates the sun appears to travel across the sky from east to west 
This is because relative to a fixed point on the Earth's surface, it looks like the sun is moving in the opposite direction to the Earth's rotation. Third point, day-night cycle. This apparent movement of the sun is responsible for the cycle of day and night. When the earth rotates and your location turns toward the sun, you experience daylight. As the earth continues to rotate and your location moves away from the sun, it becomes night. So while the sun itself doesn't actually move around the earth, the rotation of the earth causes the sun to appear to travel across the sky in an east to west direction. Now students, let's go through our third question. When the northern half of the earth tilts toward the sun, what happens to the length of day and night? Answer. When the northern half of the earth tilts toward the sun, the days become longer and the nights become shorter. Imagine the northern part of the earth getting more direct sunlight. This means the sun shines for a longer time each day. So people in the northern part of the world would enjoy longer days and more sunlight during this time. This is usually when we have summer. Now our fourth question, how are the solar system, the Milky Way galaxy and the universe related? Answer, the universe is the grand set, it will be, sorry, it, this will be grand set scale imaginable encompassing all of space, time, matter and energy. Within this vast expanse, galaxies are closer clusters of stars, gas and dust held together by gravity. Our own galaxy is the Milky Way, a barrier spiral galaxy containing hundreds of billions of stars. The solar system is a relatively tiny component within the Milky Way. It consists of our Sun, eight planets including Earth, their moons, asteroids, comets and other celestial bodies. The Sun, a typical star, orbits the galactic center, much like a planet revolves around a star. Now students, let's go through our fifth question. Look at the pictures below. Both of the pictures were taken at the same time and same place, but they look different. Why does it happen? So students, these are the same places, the picture of the same places, but one is taken at in June at 5 p.m. and another is also taken at 5 p.m., but that is in December. So let's see the answer. Certainly, let's analyze the images we have seen. Observation. The two images depict the same location but at different times of the year, 5 p.m. in June and 5 p.m. in December. The most striking difference is the amount of sunlight in each image. The June image is bright and sunny while the December image is darker and appears to be near dusk. In June, Northern Hemisphere summer, the Northern Hemisphere is tilted toward the sun, days are longer and nights are shorter in Dhaka. The sun's path across the sky is higher, leading to more direct sunlight and longer daylight hours. In December, northern hemisphere winter. The northern hemisphere is tilted away from the sun. Days are shorter and nights are longer in Dhaka. The sun's path across the sky is lower, resulting in less direct sunlight and shorter daylight hours. Therefore, even though the photos were taken at the same time, 5 p.m., the significant difference in daylight hours between June and December causes the dramatic variation in sunlight levels observed in the images. So students, that's all for today. Hope you have liked the video. Our next video will be from Chapter 9, Technology in Our Life. You all are invited to watch that video. See you soon. Assalamu alaikum.